Hello and welcome to the Raymond Can Do It channel. Today I am going to replace this ugly ceiling mount light with a newer ceiling mount light. I've done about three or four of these now and I've come to realize that they are about they are done about the same way. They all have the, the same basic components. So I'm going to show you how to take one off and talk about the components and then reinstall this one, a uh, new one. So the major components to a, a ceiling flush mount light. One is the mount. Two is the um, dome. And then this brass fixture here is also kind of part of the dome. Um, the third part is the fixture with the light bulbs and the wiring inside. And then the last component is basically a, um, a, a ring or a nut that holds the dome in place. So for this one, I can already see, um, just like many others, there's a decorative nut at the very bottom of this. You want to be very careful when you take out this nut to um, make sure that this glass dome doesn't just fall out from under it. So I would, if you had two people on a ladder, you can kind of have one person hold the dome, one person um, unscrew the nut. Also, very, very important step is to make sure that the electricity is turned off from the light switch. I've already gone down to my basement and turned off the breaker corresponding to this light switch. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this, this decorative nut, remove the decorative washer, and then take this glass dome uh, down. This, this also has a, <coughs> a regular metal washer, so let me unscrew this. And then take the glass dome out. So this would be how you would replace a, um, the light bulbs inside this uh, light fixture. I'm using a voltage detector to test out to make sure none of the wires are live. I'm also going to do that once I take this off to make sure none of the wires are live in the junction box. So then I'll unscrew the bulbs. Make sure you do not drop them. There's two little screws kind of right here that hold it together. So this don't, um, I guess this trim piece here, you just rotate it to unhook it from these screws. And then I'm just going to rotate it and pull it from the ceiling. So every basic light fixture is the fixture, the globe, the nut that holds the globe, and then the mount at the top. The mount will generally be a brass, or it doesn't matter, a metal um, mounting piece with two screws. Those two screws hold the um, light fixture to the mount, the mount to the junction box. There are three main wires. There's going to be a ground for the copper, the copper ground, a black that has the power, and then a white for the neutral line. To remove them, you just pull everything out of the box and remove the, the wing nuts. And then you're left with the 
black, white, and copper on the fixture, and also the copper, the black, white, and copper of the wiring inside your ceiling. The last thing to do is remove the mount. The mount's usually held by two screws, and you just unscrew the unscrew the mount from the junction box. For the new ceiling mount light, it's going to be practically the same components. You have a mount that these two screws will hold the um, fixture. And these two screws that are inside will mount, will screw the mount to the junction box in the ceiling. You have the light fixture with the same white, black, copper wires. You have a globe. And then you have the um, rod and nut that will hold the globe into the uh, fixture. It will vary. Um, the actual like um, sequence of what you screw in will vary. I've done this one before, and I know that the globe fits in between these two felt pads. So when I get to that step, I'm going to unscrew this decorative nut, unscrew this decorative decorative washer, unscrew the metal washer, and then take one of the felt pads out, slide the globe in, and then reverse the steps. A good thing to also check is the light bulb and what kind of light bulb you need. This one needs a 60 watt max light bulb, and it's a type A uh, regular style bulb. I'm using the Sylvania uh, Eco LEDs. They are the soft, um, they are the soft white uh, indoor pack and um, 60 watts. So now I'm going to use my voltage detector to make sure that the circuit breaker downstairs in the basement is still off. And it's off because this is not beeping. And then I'm going to add the mount. So with this, um, with this design, it's pretty similar to the other um, light fixtures I've put in. You, you have the two little screws. Those two little screws will go up into the mount. Now they have these like two larger screws. These two larger screws, and it has a decorative nut and washer. These longer screws is what holds the light fixture to the mount. The two little screws go up um, and secure the mount to the junction box. So I'm going to remove these decorative um, what, uh, nuts for now. I'm going to use the two screws to secure the mount onto the junction box. Doesn't really matter how you feed these in as long as the um, as long as the screws you screw into the junction box and not get and not obstruct any of these other mounting screws or wires inside the junction box. So now that I have the mounting bracket secured on the junction box, I'm going to use the wing nuts to secure the wires. For the ground, uh, there's sometimes a ground, a, a green ground screw uh, that you want to wrap around. So if you wrap that around, just make sure that you wrap, wrap it in a clockwise motion. And the reason why is because if you do it in a counterclockwise motion, it will start unraveling the ground. So, and then I like to give it a little tug to make sure that the that the wire has caught inside the wire nut.
sometimes if you're not if if you're not um, tying the wire nut tight enough, then that you pull it and it will pull right out. Back and shove these wires in as much as I can. Then kind of wrap the ground wire around a little bit and screw it in. Screw the ground wire so it's nice and secure. So now the two long screws, I unscrew them so they can come down. And then I line them up with the holes on the fixture. So the hard part with this is determining how much of the screws do you need sticking out. Um, so right now I don't, I don't have enough really to stick out, so I need to unscrew them some more. If you unscrew too much, then the screw will will stick out of the fixture. If you don't screw it, if you don't unscrew it enough, then you won't be able to cap that decorative nut on these screws. So I think I have enough. So I'm gonna put the little decorative washer and then the decorative nut. At this point, I'm going to get my light bulbs. So now I have my light bulbs. I'm going to screw the light bulbs in. And lastly, for the, the rod that will hold the uh, bowl, the globe up, I'm going to remove the decorative screw. Look at the directions, but it's probably going to be the, if you had two felt pads or two um, soft pads, that's where the glass is going to go in between them. I'm going to grab the rod. Screw it into the fixture. I'm going to grab the globe and slide the globe into the rod. So I have a hard, a metal washer, soft washer. And then again, a, in the reverse order, a soft washer and a metal washer. And then I have a regular, if you had two people, one person would hold the globe while the other person applies all these uh, nuts. So this is a metal nut. And then finally the decorative washer followed by the decorative nut. So I can see here, it's uh, not quite, um, there's too much of the rod sticking out. So I have to go back and unscrew everything. So I'm going to remove the globe and there's another nut right here that I'm just gonna lower the nut down about a quarter of an inch. And that should give me enough to remove that excess. So the last thing I'm going to do is turn the power back on. So now I've turned the power back on and turned on the light switch and we are done. So this is what our new light fixture looks like. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you found the video useful, please feel free to hit the like button. And if you want to see any more DIY, how-tos, or any product reviews, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. And my name is Raymond. If I can do it, you can do it too.